Hey Leo, welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate you. If this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And you can find me on my Instagram and TikTok at Jade Stone Tarot. With that being said, Leo, let's get right into your reading for the second half of November. See what you guys need to know. See what is going on. And I think this deck is is ready so let's get into it messages for leo summer rising venus for the second half of november what's going on for my leos show me clearly messages for leo please for the second half of november 2022 thank you all right we have the four cups reversed messages for leo summer rising venus for the second half of november thank you we have lovers reverse oh okay gemini energy could be dealing with the gemini we also got cancer water devil reverse jeez all these cards falling out reverse but you know what we're gonna we're gonna take it the way that they came out five of cups and the three of swords yikes okay ace of pentacles ace of cups the world and the four of swords at the bottom of the deck we also have the eight of swords oh wow leo so it kind of seems like current energy kind of like by the time you're probably watching this it's like it seems like you're kind of struggling a lot you have a lot on your mind you're feeling really really in your head experiencing a lot of anxiety fears and worries about the future could be about a situation um with another person i do have some We'll, we'll get to that but there's just like a lot on your mind and it's very very heavy i just want to let you know that in the coming days coming weeks that is going to ease quite drastically i see that there's some sort of cycle that's coming to an end this might be revolving around um some sort of business or some sort of partnership or some sort of relationship that maybe there is some sort of ending that's occurring or it's like with this ending that you're going through it's opening the door to something new in your emotions and also in your money or your personal goals or even like your confidence so i'm seeing like two ways we can read into this like there's an ending in regards to a relationship um or even career or there's some sort of ending that you're just going through internally and then as that's kind of like moving out that's where new things start to come in maybe it's a mixed bag maybe it's a little bit of both um but either way seems like you're pretty anxious it feels like you know there's a lot on your mind and it can feel very scary and very overwhelming but i just want to let you know that in the next little while that is going to ease a lot okay a lot of these things that are stressing you out a lot of it's in your head a lot of it's just like you know your fears and um mindsets and beliefs so just be mindful where you're putting your thoughts and attention to by the way it's one two three four <laughs> the time is 12 to 12 34 so it's one two three four so i don't know i just thought that's interesting Whew, yeah leo okay so you're needing to take some deep breaths there's something coming to an end and you're needing to surrender to that and have faith in that and just know that this is for your highest good that there is healing taking place and it just seems like you're going to be at peace whatever it is that's stressing you out it's not going to stress you out for much longer it really feels like there's going to be some sort of resolution here and it allows you to move forward with just like calmness okay um but yeah you guys uh, it seems like whatever's coming to an end we have the devil reverse capricorn energy there was something in your life that was very 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 toxic this might have been some sort of relationship here we have the lovers reverse indicating that there could have been an unrequited relationship maybe this had to do with someone that you were sexually intimate with or very very like um very just like a strong a strong soul tie um, and this person, you know that they weren't good for you, but for some reason you just like, you were so drawn to them, you were attached to them, you were obsessed perhaps with them, like you couldn't like, even though you knew that they weren't a good influence or you knew that they were going to break your heart, for some reason you struggled with detaching from this person and like this person was able to like control you or manipulate you or just like basically to get you what you get, you get what they want from you. And again, like with these cards coming out reverse, both these cards talk about like temptation and um like someone who maybe was using you for 
whether it was your body, whether it was for your money, your status, someone was using you for something. There's this energy where someone was using you. And it's like, it seems like they took what they wanted. They took everything from you and then they left, right? Five of cups. And now you're just left with like, wow, like I gave them everything. I gave them my love. I gave them my time. I gave them my attention. I gave them uh, so much. And they now that they've taken everything from me, they've gone they've left and you're there's this heartbreak here there's such devastation there's such disappointment and oh, i think deep down you know that you're better off but you still there's still like those those thoughts that you have that wonder like was it something i did could i have done something differently what's wrong with me how come they don't want me you know like starting to like take a look at you're taking a look at yourself in like a really critical way where you're just like what is it about me that makes me undesirable or um that no one wants to like commit to me they just want like you know um one night stand or whatever like you know there's like all these thoughts that you're having wondering like am i the problem is it me is there something wrong with me how come like um how come this keeps happening to me maybe for some of you this has been like a cycle that's been happening to you in multiple situations and you're just like what the hell man oh it's heavy y'all it's heavy um yeah even just like even just like going after those kinds of people who are like emotionally unavailable because like you enjoy the chase or you enjoy like and it that stems and like not to like dive too much into psychology and all that shit but it really does stem from like inner wounding um like the types of partners we attract definitely stem from like our upbringing right so maybe there's some deep ass shadow work going on in regards to that for somebody out there i really do feel like there is some sort of like closure or cycle that's ending for you um which is good we have the four of cups reversed so this is actually about you like changing like you're 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 becoming aware of these things and i think this has been a message and like I can't remember was it your last reading that was a bit heavier i don't you know i do the readings they don't stick with me in one ear out the other it's gone but i believe you guys kind of had a bit of a heavier reading the last little while or maybe the last little bit um the groups i've been picking up on but we have the four of cups reversed here and i actually really like this the fact that it's reversed you're actually there's part of you that's like yeah it sucks to accept the truth about the situation and it hurts and it's upsetting but there's also part of you that knows that you're deserving of much more you recognize your value although it's painful this this situation overall has taught you a lot about yourself and um you're choosing to take back your power and not let this um keep you down for much longer like you know you really did get caught up in this you really let these thoughts and these fears and these emotions take control and you're like you know it hit hard and you had to really let yourself feel it but yeah, that's what we were saying in our last reading. I was like, as long as you can like acknowledge these things and feel it, the sooner that this discomfort and this pain will pass. So that's kind of like what you're doing here. Okay, Leo, good on you. That's kind of what you're doing here. It's like you're taking a look at this. You're taking a look at um, all these things and you're feeling these emotions and you're acknowledging what you went through, seeing it for what it is um, instead of like, imagining oh well maybe it could be this one day with this person maybe one day they'll commit maybe one day they'll come around maybe one day they'll give me that attention that like they used to at the beginning of this connection or whatever right um maybe one day they'll settle down they want they'll want something more serious with me instead you're taking a you're taking a look at it for what it is what it is right here right now can things change in the future sure but the future is not set in stone. The future is being written. And also, you don't have control over anybody but yourself, right? Um, so th that's another thing with the devil reverse is, like, you're needing to take a look at where have you been come... Like, maybe... This might not be it for everyone, but maybe take a look at, like, where you've been trying to force things or put too much control on certain situations or people are having certain expectations placed on certain people and then you put these expectations on certain people like this person should be doing this 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 and that and if they don't then damn i'm gonna be upset or angry with them it's like you know allowing people to be as they are and let them show you their real colors um because if this individual or these people in whatever way this applies if it's not meant for you why would you want to force something that like 
you know, why would you want that in your life if it's not for you, you know? Like, so it's kind of like you reaching this acceptance, I feel here. And um, just kind of like hitting a bit hard at times. It feels a little bit hard and it hits kind of overwhelming, but it seems like you're you're releasing, you're letting shit go. And it's tying into some sort of cycle that you're closing out or like there's some sort of ending that's taking place but it's it has to do within you and your feelings and your thoughts and just like your perspective on on a lot of things your perspective on money your perspective on relationships your love um your confidence things like that so there's like a lot of like there's a lot of shifts taking place there's a lot of shifts taking place we do have quite a bit of major arcana we have oh no well we have three not a lot but like pretty significant to the point <laughs> um but yeah okay leo so let's do a little bit of clarifying let's get some details here i'm just trying to see like what deck am i feeling from this i think maybe the vice versa okay so what should we look into first of all let's take a look into this eight of swords and see what that's about eight of swords for leo summarizing venus for the second half of November 2022. Try the eight of swords for Leo. Show me clearly. What is Leo so stressed about? What's in, what's going on in Leo's mind? Eight of wands. So you might be seeing a lot of eights. We have the magician. Eight of wands backside. So just so you know, it's more like consideredly like reversed right uh we also have the devil backside reversed whoa queen of wands reverse and the four of cups double confirmation with the four of cups ace of pentacles double confirmation again at the bottom with the star ten of wands aquarius energy okay also judgment so yeah you're needing to release harsh judgments of yourself or just a bunch of these burdens that you've been carrying it's time for you to let this go you don't need to hold on to it anymore the old story that you've been telling yourself of i keep attracting these kinds of people i always get cheated on i don't know why i'm talking like that but like you know all men are the same all women are the same like i don't like it i don't know why i'm saying it in that voice you know but this old story that you're telling yourself or i'm unlovable and no one will ever love me or i'm gonna be forever alone like that old story that you're telling yourself it's time to drop it it's time to drop it okay because it seems like that's what's creating blocks here too you're being you're being your own block and when something good actually comes in right ace of pentacles and the star when something good comes in it's like you push it away you're like no i'm gonna get hurt or i'm not worthy or i'm not deserving or this is gonna be just like the last time and so then you just you miss out you miss out on potentially setting sail with the love of your life and you're like nope it's just gonna disappoint me so what's the point? I'm too afraid, too afraid, and um, I'm going to block myself here. Eight of Wands, backside, Eight of Wands reversed. So this is about you, this is like you getting in the way of your own manifestations or like the things that you actually want in life, the things I actually desire. Um, because you think it's impossible here with the you see in the eight of wands reverse we have there's like this pegasus flying so it's like you feel that it's impossible for you to have what it is that you want or for you to have that committed relationship or for you to have that job that isn't really a job but something that you enjoy and you're passionate about and you love doing you know there's something like that you want but you feel like it's impossible or it's like you're being your own block and you're doubting yourself you need to have a little bit of delusion. You've got to put in a little sprinkle of delusion, you know? <laughs> you have to fully believe in it um, for it to come to fruition. Otherwise, those days, those moments where you block yourself, you're delaying your manifestation from coming in. It doesn't mean it's not going to come in. Um, it just delays the, the flow of it to come into your life, you know? Because it's kind of like you're causing, you're just blocking it, right? And I, So we do have the devil reverse. I'm glad that it's come out reversed here. So again, this is about you. Double double combo, by the way. Love that. So you are getting stronger and you're overcoming these fears 
and these restrictions and like from you holding yourself back you're getting better at it there is an improvement like i said there is going to be an improvement from the eight of swords to the four of swords we'll definitely see how that kind of progresses here but you are you're getting better at it right i think you're aware that you know you're becoming more aware of those times when you start feeding into those fears or you start being like oh this is impossible or it's never gonna work like you know um definitely a lot of frustration here and even maybe a little bit of stubbornness <laughs> i'm just saying um i do see that there is a wish fulfillment coming in but the only thing that can get in the way is yourself so don't get in your own way leo move out of the way move <laughs> move all right um let's take a look into the world let's see what's coming to an end for leo or what's changing the world is about endings and new beginnings so um definitely december december is gonna be really fun for you i think you're gonna be meeting lots of new people making really cool connections maybe you're making some side money from like a hustle or um something that you really um enjoy doing maybe you're gonna be gifted money it is the holiday season so maybe you <laughs> maybe you win money that would be cool i wish that for you anyways talk the tell, wow what am i saying tell me about the world for leo we have death well ain't that something death coming up scorpio energy so this is definitely saying like there's some changes occurring but this is good this is really positive and you might even be receiving some sort of news we have the king of swords reversed and the tower seems like you're turning your back on something or someone knight of swords news you're getting some sort of news or information let's clear we, we will clarify that and see what this could be because i'm sensing that you're getting some sort of news or you're having some sort of epiphany or realization here um wow literally like look at this both these cards just lightning so this is very abrupt this change or this ending that's taking place it's very abrupt or it's very sudden or it's very quick um it's some sort of you're definitely having some sort of realization or epiphany here and with the king of swords reverse it just it seems like you're pretty fed up you're pretty done with something you're or someone right and uh you're like you're cutting ties or you're blocking some if this is like in regards to like a relationship like let's go back to like the storyline that we were picking up earlier with the lovers reverse and the devil reverse and five of cups three so it's like you know that whole situation where it's like there was someone that you invest a lot of time energy into that you gave a lot of yourself to you were hoping that they were going to give you something serious but they never did it left you wondering yourself and questioning yourself and your own worth and it's just like some sort of realization that you're having about this person you're realizing like i am done <laughs> that was loud i am done i'm cutting this cord once and for all um i deserve better like that kind of stuff but there you some of you might be actually getting a message or some sort of information and that that's just like your cue like i gotta go i gotta cut this out i gotta remove this but i i do want to like look into that let's clarify the clarifiers what deck should i use for this yeah okay um let's take a look into that tower tell me about the tower for leo what's this realization that leo is having that's bringing in this end that's bringing in this ending tell me about the tower for leo um i think you're also just like seeing someone's intentions for what they actually are um because someone maybe was like stringing you along or like making all these promises for the future but that never actually follows through with action it was all just talk but no walk and it's like you maybe waited on this person for a long time giving them the opportunity to show you but they never did and so you're like yeah deadline deadline is up i'm done waiting you had your chance you didn't take it so that's where we call it quits so yeah ace of swords did try to let me see can i see it yeah look ace of swords did try to pop out but it didn't but clarity right that's what this tower is bringing you you're having some sort of clarity um anyways how this tower for leo for the second half of november page of swords literally clarity truth message information all right let's keep it going time at the tower oh, oh queen of wands five of wands so there's a bit of a struggle with you accepting this truth you're not if it's like you're not a hundred percent certain or like you're there's still some doubt that you're having hold on time the tower for leo wheel of fortune reversed 
and the six of swords reversed. Yeah, there's a bit of a struggle with the eight of cups reversed. Yeah, yeah, king of swords, there's that double confirmation here. There's a bit of a struggle with you accepting this truth or like you're uncovering information about this situation or this person. Um, and again, I'm going to clarify what this Knight of Swords is in case it's like a message or news. I will clarify that. But it's like you are having a there's this back and forth here at the five of wands and the wheel of fortune reverse, six of swords reverse and the eight of cups. You're struggling with walking away or you're struggling with letting this person go or letting this situation go. Part of you wants to move on. Part of you wants to wait and hold on to see just just give it another chance just give it another chance um you know like there's part of you that like wants to wait and then there's part of you that wants to move on and there's like this inner there's there's this inner struggle right maybe that's where you're at right now maybe this realization that you're having is going to like that's what's coming to an end is like you're no longer going to have this back and forth maybe that's what this king of swords is about it's like yeah having the the strength the willpower the clarity um to detach because it's sen I'm sensing here, Six of Swords reverse and the Eight of Cups reverse. You've been struggling with detaching. You've been struggling with walking away. Even if you walk away, it's like you always seem to come back around or this person always seems to like loop you back in or, you know, you always seem to give them another chance when you promise you swore that you were never going to trust them again or let them in again. And somehow they always just seem to really back in. It's that devil, right? This devil, very tempting, very, very like, you know, especially with the lovers reverse too strong even a strong physical attraction to one another like i said so it's like this person's very tempting very tempting don't let the devil tempt you let's see what this knight of swords is this information that you're finding out or clarity it's again this is tying into this tower i just want to see if spirit will tell us what this tower is talk about the page of swords for oh sorry knight of swords for um leo second half of november what's this clarity what's this info coming in what's this message what's this realization or truth can you give us a little bit of clarity as to what this could be about is this upside down yeah all of it okay knight of swords for leo for the second half of november we have ten of wands reverse okay great and the tower reverse whoa i see the oh, leo wow this this is this is big seven of pentacles temperance and give me one more for this knight of swords we have one that fell we have six of swords reverse yeah so this is basically okay high priestess six of pentacles two of cups oh my god and three pentacles you got something much better coming in just a side message Whatever it is that you're leaving behind, good, because there's something much better coming in that's like right up your alley. Whatever it is that you've been wanting with this specific situation or this specific person, unfortunately it wasn't with them, but that's because there's something better trying to come in, but you have to have the room for it. You have to have the space for it. So this information or this news or this message, whatever this is, because it's not, it ain't telling me exactly what it is, but this incoming news or info that you get allows you to let go, completely detach, completely remove this from your life once and for all. This has been an ongoing cycle. And like I, we've been saying, like there's a struggle with you letting go or walking away or giving this another chance, another chance, another chance, making excuses, etc., etc., etc. You're done. You're done. It's finished. It's over, right? They have Scorpio energy coming out twice here. Um, which Scorpio season officially is now over. We're in Saggy season now. Yes. So <sighs> you, you're able to lay this to rest. You're able to detach. This is something that you've been working towards. Like you've been really, you've been trying, right? It's like one step forward, two steps back, two steps forward, three steps back. It's been like an ongoing process. Um, temperance and the seven of pentacles. Be patient with yourself. Um, you're aware that this devil is not not worth being in your life, not worth keeping around. And so you've been knowing that it's just taken a lot of strength for you to get to this point where there's no there there is this point of no return. Again, Six of Swords reverse is like indicating this this thing from the past that you keep returning to or you keep going back to or struggling with walking away or letting go. This is this is something that you've you've been aware of and it's been in the process of you healing from this and finding your own flow and getting back on your feet and finding your strength. But look at you. Look, you're doing it. You're doing great. So keep it up because you're right on track. Okay. And like I said, you got some new stuff coming in. 
um ace of pentacles and ace of cups and that is what's coming in it's like you got i don't i don't have time to clarify this you guys but this is what's coming in after this ending after you work through releasing this individual it definitely feels like it's a person but whatever the situation is once you work through letting them go there is no turning back like it's final it's done and there's there's no return there's no return and you're okay with it you're accepting it and you're ready for this this new journey this new chapter um there really is no turning back from this and it's freeing it's helping you move on you're feeling confident you're feeling more at peace you know that you made the right choice you know that you did the right thing intuitively your intuition knows here high priestess you're following your inner compass you're following your inner knowing you're not doubting yourself you're trusting yourself and you also know that there's something much better coming in in the near future you know that this is leading you to your right people the right person the right lover the right friends the right community here you know that this is what's around the corner so it's just a just a learning curves that you're going through personal growth and development or whatever so that's what i got for you leo for the second half of november if this reading was helpful or insightful let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information is in the description box down below and you can find me on my instagram and tiktok at jade stone tarot thank you for watching leo and i'll talk to you in the next one bye